Hello and welcome to a new video of my Unity MMO tutorial series and yeah in this lecture I will show you how to create the package for our character creation so we can send the package to the server. Yeah, before we start we have to add some new variables and before we do this we create a an header and we will call this header character creation creation and now we need uh, a dynamic dynamic character avatar and we have to i will use this one and we have to add a new namespace it's the Yuma character system and we also need a new public input field and we call this character name input and yeah now we can start with a new function and we will call this function save character so i will start with public void save character and yeah before we create this one we need a public string yuma receive data and get set and now we can say string uma receive data is equals to character avatar character avatar dot get current receive and we also need to add the character name is equal to character name input dot text okay and then we can start with the connection dispatcher dot send package and we need to create a new character creation request and then we can start with this and we can we can say uma receive is equal to uma receive data and we can say character name or or we will put the character name above so char name is equal to character name this one Okay, and now you can send the data to the server. But we need to go to our Unity engine and we have to create, you have to go to the canvas and right click on it, UI and create a new input field. And we can delete the enter text in the placeholder and then we have to drop it down to the bottom and we have to drag and drop it down to this one So we can save and we have to uh, go to our prefabs folder and add the client manager to this. And as you can see, we have created the header and you can see the header here now. So the character avatar and the character input field. And we can drag and drop the input field here and the Yuma dynamic character avatar here. And now we can save. And if we go back to our code, we can create um, a marker here. And if we attach it to the Unity engine,
it will build and we have an error okay and we try it again and now it's attached to the unity engine we can go back to our unity click on the play button and uh, we need to do this in this case because we cannot um do this in another way because we don't use the server yet and we create this one and a character name and then we go to the character creation and yeah it won't work because I missed the character creation button we have to click uh, we have to create an a new on click event and then we have to drag and drop the client manager go to function client manager and save character now we can save and click the play button now we can modify our character a little bit and type a name here click on character create character and then we have set the breakpoint at the wrong place so we need to do it on new step and yeah let's check a little bit I will click here some stuff and here and we can do this one and as you can see we are dropped down here and yeah here you can see the Yuma character creation receipt data and we can close it and um, yeah we need to go to the next step and we have an error but okay I cannot uh, check if we have a character name input here but the name will will go there if we have do this ah okay it's because I forgot to drop the input field here as well so we can try to start this one it's only for the correct name as you can see it's null but if I go to the next line you can see the correct name okay and yeah now we can go to the server and we can create yeah let's start with creating the um yeah yeah let's uh, start with creating a new function uh, called authstore um, because we need uh, this one so we add a new item in the service folder and we will call uh, we will create an interface and we will cr call it iAuthStore and this we will use for um, adding um, yeah this uh, will be adding the our GUID to the server and so you can save the yeah let's uh, save the user ID to the GUID ID and then we can create it uh, later a little bit um, better and we can handle the character stuff a little bit better so I create the iStore and yeah let's let's create the um, auth store as well so we add a new item this will be a class and we will call it out auth store and we will inherit it from i auth store and click on it implement interface so we added the interface um in here and let's do it in a simple way and we create a private 
dictionary from GUID and int. So this will be the ours clients and this will be new dictionary and this one. And then we, I will drop the add function before and this we can delete this and create an expression and this will be auth clients dot add and we will call the quid and the id and i will do the same with the remove function so this is this is like the same i did um with the uh, uh, blocks but um in this case it's a little bit simpler so we can uh, call the remove function and we will do this one and here we can say aus clients dot contain key contains key sorry uh, the guid and then we say aus clients with so this one minus one and so we have our auth store and now we can store our our stuff in in the client uh, or in the server and now we have everyone knows um that, uh, that we have stuff in here okay as you can see here we create a grid and this one is that we added in the out store and yeah in the next lectures we will concentrate on um on adding stuff to the server connection handler and yeah we will We will um, modify a few things with the uh, networking and yeah. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe me on Patreon and if you like my stuff you can leave a like or write it down in the comments. Join my Discord server as well or yeah if you need help do the same. See ya!